Hi, my beautiful and amazing turtles around the world. So, this is not going to be one of my channel letters. This is going to be about a little bit about who I am and what I am like able to do and what I'm capable of. And this is going to be what, like part one of my like witch abilities of who I am. <laughs> so, I am Tara Garden Lily. My name is like Lily. You guys can call me Meg as well. And I'm gonna get started with one, like three spells. And then we're gonna talk about subjects of like what types of witches I am, what I remember from my own past life. Well, just a few bits and pieces of it. The types of like magic that I'm capable of and what I truly have the best intentions for myself and then more of the subject of what's going to be happening next and this is then I'm going to end it as I should so let's get started though may all of my archangel guides ancestors and masters help me to communicate what is needed to be said so bless it be, so mount it be, and amen. I say those three because it really means something more to me along the way of my prayers. So the first is, follow the path that you've chosen for yourself and do not let anyone take advantage of what you can achieve and accomplish for yourself the most. Dear Lord or Universe, you're dear to me when things were tough. You have a strong given sense of allowing me to go. I am grateful that the energies of the world and more is at peace with itself. You have made me change in so many possibilities that today is a brand new day. I'm going to grow in my faith as a spiritual person and even as a more magical person amongst it though, who has so much more to see in every potential and opportunity that will be shown. I do miss and love and light what has been already given to the earth because there are new times and changes that are happening. Do take care. Even when we don't notice the small stuff, it's always shown in more ways than one. I only hope that we all live in peace and no harm shall be done, but I know that it probably won't or will happen because times are changing and we don't give into it as much. I'm going to do as much as I can to live in the moment and keep doing what I've been doing for myself and more. Today will be a time to rest and rejuvenate who I've always been. You mean more to me than what I didn't expect until I started to see every inch of what was shown. I do hope that everyone is being safe and more so strong and even legends amongst it though. Love and life and light and amen. ML. It is a sense of following the heart to accept the love and energies that have already been flown and shown within it. There is so much peace and wonderfulness that we cannot even see, for the possibilities are endless. And this is a time and change of what is already being shown amongst it. And also, when I finished doing readings and spells, I mark it with my own sort of sigil of what I have created for myself. The next one, the stars align in the most absolute solitude, where the new moon has risen to a wonderful event and a solar eclipse has already begun. Dear Lord slash universe, I will always love the person that is within my heart, no matter times and how many times have taken place, whatever happens shall happen, no matter the circumstances. 
and any things that may come before us. I'm going to be where I am at and become a star that shines so bright that no one can touch or even go against who we are. Allow the universe and energies to flow amongst it though. For the steel stars have a loving and immortal heart where we are being true to who we are and we are being prepared to hear the voices of people that have lost their way and so much more for healing and clarity shall be done. Amen and love, ML. The stars are lining and they're allowing you to see who you are meant to have within your heart space. Someone that really has so much love and gracious between you. They really do want to see what is already going to become of you and more. For you are the light and the love in the way. Allow the angels to be where they are meant to be. For there's going to be a lot of bells ringing on its own and a calling that will be shown with light and the heaven's gate for the veil has opened itself to the max. Call forth the power that has been hidden from being within from deep within one's own heart. Dear angel guides, allow the path to not falter. Allow the waves of energies to flow. Allow everything that has been hidden, hidden qualities and changes to be given to those who need it, for they feel the divine and fit and spiritual protection amongst it though. For what we know shall grow, for what we shall be proven will help us to allow us to know that we can cut the cords and bring peace and clarity amongst it, where there is a clearing, and that clearing shall bring forth our powers from deep within our own selves. Love and Amen, ML. There is going to be something very much shown towards us, for there is a hope in the understanding of who we are and who we are meant to be. Now, for who I am. Oops, so sorry. I have moved this now. This is my grimoire. And spells and more are going to be very much manifested with intentions of it. It's giving me so much hope within it, though. So I am a grey witch. Actually, let me allow you stuff to face me so I can know. I hope you guys can see me though, because if not... Okay. So I am a grey witch. And I am a witch who loves the balance of energies. It could be yin and yang, black and white. I live in between. And I don't live with or without one. Because we can do light and we can do dark. And that love and energy has always been well known within me though. I also do mag magic circles as well. But those magic circles, they don't really cost much of energies within it though. There's always a sense of wanting to really release and help those in need though. I believe that it's the utmost to really be true to who you are and who you are meant to be. For what I remember long ago, I had really never once been within a group or within like friends or family or really within oneself. I had always like been the one who was more of a solitude person where I had to really work. Like this is from my Akashic Records. I had to do everything by myself. Of course, I have been in like more covens and more of like family and tradition wise for this has really resonated within my bloodline and more of my legacy. I really do try to like help those in need from no matter the intentions of really being there for people and really trying to help out as much as we can though. We try to really believe that there are things that are out there for I believe 
that there is so much more out there in the world. I really am trying to come back to who I am, but there's a strong sense of, I have always known that I was different from my family members, for I am a psychic medium as well. I follow my intuitions, I unblock all my clairs, and I allow the spirits and ghosts to talk to me. But I really do work in the gray. There is no light without dark, and there is no dark without light. And I know people are probably going to be against me. It's like, you can be without one or the other, though. But this is what I believe in. And I'm not afraid of who I am or what I believe in the most. Be true to yourself. Live in your truth. And don't be without. That's all I wanted to say from my own face. <laughs> Mm. But the types of things that are happening though for me, I am trying to be more clear audience, which is an ability that allows you to hear the spirits and ghosts that are talking to you, that really want to communicate towards you. I'm also trying to do more of like magic circles, any like rituals or residuals for energies that are happening like sort of these types of like magic circles and sometimes I can do it within my mind space as well for I can remember every single like magic circles that have already been created even the ones that people don't even remember I can remember multiple and even I can also ask for that project to other universes that really do need my help in other realms as well but do be careful if you guys are astral projecting and you don't even know it. For the dream state, even when we're dreaming, it's an amazing miracle way. But I'm going to keep talking about this amongst my journey of me being a psychic medium. And also during my channel letters as well. And I will also be like really making videos of my abilities as a witch as well. For I am very accustomed to who I am. That is all I have for you guys, though. May love, life, and harmony be amongst you, though. For the energies that are being balanced within you, whether it is divine masculine, divine feminine, you have it within your souls. And that is a must to be said. Bye, guys. Peace, though. There's more going to be said, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs>